Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a drugstore get ready with me and first impressions video. So I know some people have been requesting a drugstore tutorial, but I decided just to make it like a get ready with me so I can just show you guys what I'm using and I don't know, it's not really a tutorial because it's like first impressions and I don't really, I think a get ready with me was more suitable for this sort of thing. So. I think you guys will still like it and I will have a drugstore tutorial for prom coming up so stay tuned for that. I have most all my products that I bought for my drugstore haul so I have a lot of those out here. I have a couple different options that I'm still not sure what I'm going to use on a couple things. And then I went to Ulta actually after my drugstore haul and bought some more stuff. So I have some new products in this video that I didn't show in my last video that you guys will be seeing. And uh, yeah, there's like two things maybe that are high end in here, but it is what it is. If you guys have other suggestions, please let me know what they are because I want to try them out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off. My skin is really not looking that good. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to start off with the face. I'm going to actually use this Botanics Radiance Concentrate Serum. I've already moisturized my face, so I guess I'm doing it out of order, but whatever. I'm going to put two to three drops. I'll put two drops on my hand. Hmm, smells very floral. Feels nice and hydrating. I like that. We'll see what it looks like with my makeup on over it. Something else that I found the other day at Ulta when I was back at Ulta to get like one thing and then I spent like 60 bucks, which isn't bad considering all the things that I got. Um, but I bought this uh, NYX Hydra Touch primer and I've been really, really wanting to try this um, just because it's like a hydrating primer and I haven't heard a whole lot. I feel like I've heard good things. Whatever I have heard have been good about this. It's got like a bluish sort of tint to it. Kind of reminds me of that Smashbox primer, like the one that everyone used to rave about. That feels really, really nice. It's like very silky. It has like a nice fresh scent to it. I really like that a lot. It feels really good. So this is great for people with dry skin, so definitely check it out. It feels really good on my skin. I'm really feeling really good about this so far. Eyes first or last? I don't know. Okay, so I have both of these foundations out, the one that I showed you guys, the Fiona Styles, and then the NYX HD. Um, I couldn't resist using the Fiona Styles. I went ahead and used it already, so I'm going to do the NYX HD, especially because I'm using NYX already. Um, but I absolutely love this so far. It's been really, really great. I, th I think I've used it just once. I used it on Easter, and it held up so, 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 so well. I'm really obsessed with this. It's like a little too light. Like I want to say it's just like a little bit light just because especially we're going into like spring and summertime. But um, I think I'm going to hold on to it because the shade darker is just a little too dark. So I think it'll be fine for now. Um, but I, I have never used this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. So I've never used the NYX HD Foundation. I've heard really good things about it. Um, but I don't know. I just have never bought it. I don't know. I just, I think they got new packaging and stuff and I was like, I'm just going to try this out. I couldn't decide. I was having a hard time deciding between the NYX HD and then the NYX full coverage one. Um, but I decided just to get the NYX HD and try it out just because the shade that they had was closer to what I needed. Okay. So I'm just going to apply this directly onto the beauty blender. You can see right there. I'm so excited to see how this looks on the skin. I'm just going to try to kind of evenly apply it. It's really pretty. With the lights and everything on camera, it looks a little light. Um, I'm having trouble finding like my perfect shade in these foundations. I don't know why, but... And I don't have fake tan on or anything, so... I feel like I need a darker shade. I'm going to apply like another layer just because that layer was kind of thin. But I always try to find like a foundation with um, like olive undertones just because I have like more olive skin and it's got like yellow undertones but more so on the olive side. So it's just kind of hard for me to find a good shade. I never want to find something too, too orange or, um, or too beige or anything. All right, so it looks so good. It looks so natural. Oh my gosh, it looks just a little light. 
that's okay. I just remembered that I bought like a really dark shade of the L'Oreal Infallible foundation to mix in to darken my foundations just because that's like my favorite foundation. So next I have the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I'm so, so excited about this. Like I've said, I've been really into color correcting lately. So, um... What is this? It says dark circle secrets. Coconut oil. It says coconut oil. I don't know why it says that. Let me see. There's no directions. <laughs> and better be. Oh, that's not as dark as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be darker. Oh my gosh. They're like really. Oh, I mean, it's okay. I thought it was gonna be like orange. So it's in the shade medium, dark circle concealer. So really you just like put this under your eyes as a corrector. I really haven't ever used correctors that much, but I've been starting to, and I really, really like them a lot. This one's like really, really mild. Like I kind of want a darker one. I thought for some reason it was gonna be darker, but apparently I'm just getting all light, too light of shades. But I do like the way that this looks. It looks really good. There was only like a light, a medium, and dark one. I feel like the dark one was way too dark. But it does look really good and really natural on the skin as well. Um, I actually, um, I just showed on my Snapchat that I bought these three LA Girl Pro Concealers. And I actually have never used LA Girl anything, I don't think, before. Um, and I got the orange one for color correcting. So this one I think will be awesome. I might actually throw on a little bit of this as well. Just for the sake of it being a first impressions video oh that's cool so it's like a little sort of brush applicator right there and it, the product just comes out that's easy to apply that's cool oh this one's dark yep oh now that's kind of more what i was looking for oh my gosh this is like war paint or something Whew. Hopefully this all works out for the best. I'm gonna actually save these other concealers because I have a different concealer I wanna use for this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope that this looks okay in the end. The orange is supposed to correct like dark circles under your eyes, which I told you guys I've been having a lot of lately. So I think this is gonna help once, once it's... <laughs> it looks so funny. Uh, once it's blended out, and then I'll put concealer over top. Okay. Anyways, that's what that is right now. I look really freaking scary. Um, okay, so next I'm going to be using the NYX. I'm using a lot of NYX, guys. NYX is one of my favorite drugstore brands, so there's just so many things that I've been wanting to try, and I was like, you know what? Let's just, let's just go all in. Let's just do it. Um, so I got the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. And I haven't heard anything about this. It's waterproof, apparently. It looks really thick, which is not something I usually am into, but I decided to try it. I got the shade medium. Hopefully it's the right shade for me. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. And then, yeah, it's like really thick, like really thick, but hopefully it does the job. First, I'm just kind of applying with my hand, and then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. So pretty. It's definitely full coverage, I feel like. Definitely going to be baking. Now I'm going to go ahead and bake that concealer on. It's definitely you need to bake this because it's really, really like thick and creamy and it will definitely crease if you don't set it or bake it and baking is my absolute favorite method to set my concealer and this is one of the products that's high-end that I said I just cannot find at the drugstore just went ahead and dusted off that bakage on my face and now what I'm gonna do is just make sure the rest of my face is all set and ready to go um, I've been using this Rimmel stay matte um, pressed powder, long-lasting pressed powder. I don't really, it's not my favorite because I feel like it's just, it's, it doesn't have like a lot of pigment or anything like that, but it does the job, I feel like. Um, I like it. I heard about it through Amanda Insing. Um, and you know, I use it sometimes. I like it. It's not my favorite, but it works. Um, I use the shade 011 Creamy Natural. I think the thing is, is I need something just a little darker, which... 
I'm apparently having a trend with that with all the things that I'm buying um, another product that I absolutely love that is drugstore no no that is not drugstore is the max soft ochre paint pot I just I haven't found a drugstore primer that I like more than this so I'm just gonna stick with what I know for now if you guys know of a under eye primer um, or an eyeshadow primer I don't know why I said under eye primer <laughs> Um, please let me know because I still use this soft ochre paint ball, which I'm completely happy with, but it's always good to try new things, you know? I like to be open-minded and try new things. I don't really have any drugstore eyeshadows that I love other than like sparkly pigmented ones like I'm gonna be using these ColourPop ones um, for my lid but as for like matte shadows and things like that I'm gonna be using the Morphe palette right here my Morphe 350 just for my matte shadows and then I'm gonna go in with these ColourPop ones to give you guys a first impression on those and I have used them before so it's not really a first impression um, but I thought I'd just kind of throw them in so you guys can see what they look like on the eyes because they are just so pretty, like so gorgeous, like on another level. Um, but I'm going to be using this Morphe palette. Kind of setting my primer as always. I really went into this like having no idea what I was going to do. But I think I'm going to do something kind of like a cut crease-ish thing. And I'm actually going to hydrate my lips while I am doing my eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the Milani Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment. So um, this I heard about through Luster Lux. I told you guys. Hmm. Mmm. So it's like a gloss. This Morphe 350 palette is life. I bought some Trader Joe's. Oh gosh, I messed up. I bought some Trader Joe's. Um, reduced gilled guacamole and I absolutely love that stuff. I haven't had it in so long. I'm so excited to eat that after I'm done filming. Yay. Okay, so I just did my cut crease. It looks a little crazy because like the rest of my face isn't done. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the ColourPop eyeshadows, which I'm so excited. I'm gonna do like a glitter glue. So I'm using my Too Faced glitter glue. I know this isn't drugstore, but I love it. So I'm using it. I'm going to take a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to use the shade Lovely with the ColourPop collection and I'm going to just uh, add that to my inner corner of my eyes and hopefully it gets on this brush. There we go. I'm adding that to my inner corner and kind of taking it out just because I want it to really pop. Really pretty. So the next thing that I'm using is this Allure Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. And I'm really excited. This is one of the most exciting things for me. Just because it's a, like a different color and I just like have no idea how it's going to look. So it's a, little, it's a little exciting and I don't know. I feel like I hope it looks good. But, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use it and I'll tell you guys my reaction to it. Ooh. I like it's really really pretty color like it's so natural it's really just slightly filling in like my natural brow okay so I wasn't gonna do a winged eyeliner I was just not gonna do any eyeliner up top just because I have a cut crease and it would kind of take away from that but I was like you know what I'm really in a mood today where I want to have a nice fierce wing so I remembered that I have some drugstore eyeliner that I've never used so it can be part of this video um, I so this is the L'Oreal infallible never fail liquid eyeliner the super slim so I've had this for months it's been sitting in my drawer with new product and I was like I can use that I was gonna use my go-to Kat Von D trooper but I'm trying to stick to drugstore as, as much as I can but I decided this is a great opportunity for me to use this because I still haven't used it Ooh, it's really 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 pretty on my hand right here really nice and pigmented um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that and see how I like it. So far so good. The tip is sort of hard to work with just because it doesn't bend or anything. Oh it does bend. I'm just it's a little it's not super bendy. Yep, check that out. 
I'm absolutely loving this wing. I'm so glad that I decided just to go ahead and do a winged eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lashes and then I'll be done with my eyes. And I'm going to use the Ardell Double Ups. They're so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. They're in the number... Um, 202. Next I'm gonna warm up my face with bronzer. I don't have any from the drugstore like I don't even have anything from the drugstore bronzer wise So if you guys like any bronzers, please let me know I would love to go and buy one but I'm just gonna use my makeup forever Pro bronze fusion fusion. Yep, that's what it's called now. It is time for contour. I'm gonna be using the terracotta bronzing powder by Guerlain and um, I'm just gonna use my Radada Makeup Geek blush brush, which this is an awful blush brush. I feel like just because it's so tiny, like I don't know why they ever made this like a blush brush. So I use it for contouring. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna press into there, add it on. It's a very pigmented bronzer, so I just need a tiny bit and just work it into my cheekbones. I know this bronzer is definitely not drugstore. It's probably my most expensive bronzer. I don't know why I picked this one. I just, I really, I'm, this one started to grow on me. I know that I said it wasn't my favorite, but I think I just got a shade too dark. Um, so I feel like, because I just got it online and I couldn't really see it in, in person. So um, yeah, I feel like if I got a shade lighter, then I'd like it more, but <gasps> okay, it's safe. It didn't break. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with highlighter and I have two that I'm going to be choosing from. So I'm definitely going to be using this um, Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm because I told you guys about it in my last video. I think it would be really pretty. Um, but I have ColourPop Wisp. I think it's called Wisp. Yeah, it's called Wisp. I have that, which is a little dark and then this one's a little light. Man, my coloring is just like off. I don't know why. but. This one right here is the Revolution one. I went back and got the one that I told you guys that I really liked. And then this one's Wisp right here. I don't know which one to use. I feel like I'm going to go with Wisp today just because I feel like it just will look a little bit more natural. I feel like the other one's just a little light for all this bronzer that I have on. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to clean up that, that uh, contour with some baking powder because it's just like a little too far down right here and I don't like that. I like it to stay up back in the back. So I always highlight before blush though because it just looks more natural and more blended. Um, but what I'm going to do is just apply it with my finger. Ooh, yeah, that's really pretty. Like I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought it was going to be too dark. But this is actually gorgeous. I'm in love. I love it so much very natural and very subtle looking. I'm going to do a little bit of the highlighter on my nose because I love a good nose highlight. I go a little highlight crazy sometimes so I'm going to kind of tone that down a little bit. I'm going to use the Morphe um, 9B palette. Um, I don't use this one hardly ever. I forget that I have it all the time but I really love it. And then I'm going to use the Morphe E4 blush brush which is amazing and I'm going to take the shade what shade am I going to take today? I'm going to take this top one right here. I want something a little bright and pretty. So I'm going to take this shade right here and apply it to the apples on my cheeks. Okay, so last but not least for the face, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to use my strobe balm. Dang it. I was like really excited to show you guys what that looked like on the skin. Ugh. Oh no. I'm definitely, okay, so stay tuned. I, I really just want to use Wisp on its own and without this balm, just because I feel like I want to use this balm with the same brand of highlighter. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to be using this in my drugstore prom makeup tutorial. So I will use this for that, so don't worry. Um, I should be using that for it. Unless I end up using this Wisp one again, because I really like it. Um, just depending on my shade, but I will be using this again, so don't worry. You will get to see that one. You did get to see the swatch right there of the new shade that I got, which is uh, Golden Lights instead of the Radiant Lights, because the Radiant Lights had like no pigment, and this one's like super pigmented and gorgeous. I don't know if you can kind of see right there. It's just totally different. So... 
but I will be using that eventually. Um, last but not least though, for my face makeup, before I do the lips, I'm going to um, sharpen the contour and bake underneath just because it really, really sharpens it up and makes it look nice and sharp. The contour, hunty. Pretty. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I went ahead and just did my hair um, off camera, and then um, all I have left to do is my lips. So I'm definitely going with a nice nude because I am absolutely dying to try the ColourPop Satin Liquid Lipstick. Is that what it's called? Satin, Ultra Satin Lip. Um, so I swatched it on my hand um, up against the lip liners that I got from ColourPop, Chi and Root, uh, Chi and what's the other one, Ripa. Um, so they're so, so similar. Chi is just a little bit darker, really. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one I think would go better with um, Magic Wand, and I think Ripa would actually go better with Magic Wand than Chi. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with Ripa. So creamy, too. So pretty. So that's just Ripa on my lips. I kind of do this thing where, like, I just line my whole entire lips, like, in the inside with the lip liner, too. So I just feel like it makes it stay so much longer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Magic Wand. I'm so excited to see how this looks on my skin tone. So here's Magic Wand. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, I love it. This formula is so nice too. So that's the complete look, you guys. I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. I know that I didn't use absolutely everything drugstore, but I tried the best that I could with still knowing that I was going to get a good outcome with products that I love. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited um, to see how this wears throughout the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video and first impressions. So if you guys want to see more videos, then just make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And um, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. And like I said, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.